<laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my video, man. So, as usual, let me grab my headphones and my music. It's currently 8.05 and uh, it's just finished raining. So this morning I have a special property and this is my one and only property that I service once a month. Yes, you heard me right, once a month. Uh, and again, the reason is personal, so again, you know, excuse me if I don't uh, reveal why, but I, oh, my lens are starting to fog up. Hold on, it'll clear up here in a few minutes. But yeah, um, I do this once a month for this uh, elderly lady. And, uh, you know, again, I, I, I chose to help her out uh, and I, and I, and I, like I said before, this, this is one, uh, property that I, you know, I'm going to do this. So no biggie. So this here is my additional safety device, which is the, uh, angel guard. Um, and again, link in the bio and safety, you know, safety number one guys. And I get a lot of slack from you you guys I guess you know all over the states and other countries I guess saying that you know why am I parking on the wrong side of the road <laughs> guys let me tell you I don't uh, no no one bothers me and there's no I'm yet to be stopped by anybody okay so yeah all right where's the other one let me grab it real quick and set it there you go on this side but yeah um again guys never had an issue never had a complaint and uh yeah that's what it's all about so you know everywhere is different correct too easy all right so as you can tell guys uh it just finished pouring down rain so i'm gonna mow this centipede lawn and again it has been mowed in a whole month I'm about to say a year <laughs> it hasn't been mowed in a in a month so let me put my gloves on and the first thing I'm going to do is edge this up and I'm going to use my blade edger and this here guys is the Husqvarna 325 ILK and this is a BLI 300 battery and the battery car uh, weighs uh, about close to three pounds and the uh, edger only weigh about six pounds okay and this right here is a Darwin grip and again because everything that I use is in the video description um and the equipment guys is from Husqvarna let me fix this real quick for you so if you guys want to uh purchase equipment or know more about the equipment that I use just go to Husqvarna.com and uh you know you should be able to find the equipment so yeah as you can tell my handheld equipment is all battery operated and guys there's no mixed fuel there's no carburetor there's no taking out the screen of the carburetor there's no carburetor being clogged up none of that so as a matter of fact I haven't been to my dealer uh, in over a year so that's pretty that's pretty crazy right yeah I haven't been to my dealer in over a year and you guys have seen my videos for those who uh, are loyal watchers I've been using battery powered Husqvarna handheld equipment for the past year on tall grass on all kind of stuff guys so it, it works for me and I get six to seven houses out of one BLI 300 battery 
Uh, you can also use the BLI 200 battery, which is uh, a smaller battery. And for that, I get about four, four to six houses. You know, and it only weighs, I want to say, about two pounds. Okay. So, like I said before, um, on this particular property, I service it once a month. And we are edging everything up for her. And oh, so you guys know, guys, um, I'm not charging her an additional fee. Um, her service is just like everybody else. And again, special situation, um, you know, again, you, 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 you do right for people and, you know, it'll, it'll come back. It'll come back to you. That's the way I, I look at it. Okay, so, so you see right here, guys, I'm showing you that if you are using <laughs> a cord to uh, power up your, your uh, phone or whatever to listen to music while you're mowing make sure that you get you a short cord because what happened is uh, <laughs> the long cords tend to get caught up in, in the mower will rip it up <laughs> yeah it happened to me one time so I bought a smaller cord and for you guys that don't know this is the uh, Toro Z Master 4000 48 inch deck okay so this is centipede grass and I will mow this at two inches for her. So after I uh, enjoy the mowing guys and after the mowing we'll talk about um, the process that I use to uh, you know make sure this property looks good okay. So enjoy the mow and uh, I'll talk to you guys after the mow. So now we're going to do the back and for the back I use my Xmark Vantage 36 and let me go ahead and lock up my trailer and I don't lock my trailer because I'm in a bad neighborhood guys I lock my trailer to minimize any incidents you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah all right so I'm going to show you how I mow the back and then explain to you why I mow the way I do okay so let me take you in the back here and enjoy the mow
Now in the back here guys, as you can tell, I am mowing in a circular formation, I mean, in a circular rotation, right? That's because I don't have a micro mulching kit, but I do have a shoot blocker. And if you guys are familiar with shoot blockers without the, uh, the mulching kit, it leaves the debris on your right side. So all I'm doing is cleaning up the whole thing because there's leaves on the ground. Alright guys, so I know a lot of you guys say, you know, how come you leave your mower just sitting out there like that? Somebody can steal it. Again guys, I only, I'm only in the back for a few minutes. Um, but what I do is, anytime I leave my equipment like this in a safe neighborhood, I take the keys out. You know, just like so. And if you look over here at the 48 inch, there's no key. Now you gotta be pretty hardcore to come out there with a key and stick it in there and try to take my more first of all. <laughs> Believe me, you're not gonna get too far. I just thought I'd warn you to those who you know think like that. But no, no. Believe me guys. Been doing this for all these years and you know, again, it's all about prevention. And uh, you know, for me, it works. All right, so let me open this trailer back up. And guys, I know a lot of you guys ask, you know, where are my helpers? Where are the, you know, all these people? Guys, I am enjoying working by myself and I will continue working by myself. Um, and everybody else is working guys you know what I mean so again everybody's doing fine from 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 as a matter of fact since last year I've been working by myself so kind of get used to it because uh, that's the way it's gonna be from now on all right so we're gonna do some edging and trimming Again, guys, this is the BLI. Um, oh, not BLI, I'm sorry. Yes, this is the Husqvarna 325 ILK. And it has the string trimmer attachment. And this is the same one that I use for my uh, blade edger with the edging attachment. And it's sort of like a combi system where you can have different attachments on them so it works pretty good so on this particular property um, you know again I like to kind of you know make everything looks look good and guys I know you know you might say you know I'm going the wrong way you know the, the grass is gonna get into the plant bed etc etc you know I, I understand that guys but again this is what I do and how I do it. Okay? At least I have a video out there. Where's your video? <laughs> That's what I told one guy. He kept saying, hey man, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you know, you're going the wrong way. I'm like, okay guy, you know, make a video and share with the community on the right way to do it. And I never heard from him. But yeah. I, I know guys, believe me, I 100% know, but it's all about me being comfortable with what I'm doing, simple as that, and I'm yet to get anybody complaining about my work, alright, so what I usually do is just uh, trim on this particular property, trim the entire property, okay, because that's the way she likes it. Um, and here in a couple of weeks I'm going to put down pine straw 
spray and put on pasteurol because that's what the customer wants okay and in the back here the same thing I'm just turf lining the whole perimeter and then uh, right here is some stepping stones so I'm letting the grass grow because whoever was doing this property before I mean they they must have used some thick string or whatever but they you know this the, the, the gap in between the rock I mean the stone and the grass is pretty pretty big so I'm trying to let it grow back so here I'm hitting the whole perimeter making it look nice for her and guys I could have easily just mowed this and not do all this additional detail but knowing me I cannot let it look like that and just not do it you know it's just uh, I guess self-discipline I just can't do it all right so everything is now finished and we are going to blow Let me hit the, the grass that's growing in the street. You know, little things like this bother me, guys. I, I, I'm telling you, the grass and the cracks and all of that, it, it believe me, I, I can't just leave it, you know, not being taken care of. So I got to hit it up. And this is what I love, man. I'm here by myself, taking my time doing what I love you know I love it I love it I love it I love it no complaints all right so let's put this up and grab the blower and this is a steel BR800C um, this is the one that you pull on the side while you have it on your back and I've had this blower for two years so I'm priming it right now because it's the first time I'm going to be using it this morning and it took me about two three pulls but video magic damn I'm telling you everything is pretty good right <laughs> But the reality is it took me about three pulls. And this is one thing that I do guys, I always blow my machine off. Again, keep my equipment nice and clean. And you see what I'm doing guys? I'm blowing things back onto the grass. I'm not blowing the debris into the street. Please do not do that. I've seen a lot of guys out there blowing all the debris into the street man that's that's extremely extremely unprofessional don't don't do that plus you know it can uh, cause injuries so you know motorcycle riders you know so try not to do that but yeah just blowing everything right back into the grassy area And yes, eventually the sidewalk and driveway will get uh, power washed. Okay. But believe me, all the houses look like that, guys. <laughs> yeah, no big. Looks pretty good, right? Alright, so and also serves the house on the next side so let's go in the back and the same thing 
blow the patio off. And now um, there's no pine straw or anything in the uh, beds. So all the leaves and blowing them off the grass right into the beds. Because once we uh, once we fill them up with pine straw, it'll look real nice. Always make sure that the back gate is closed. And that's it. So this whole job guys took me about, I want to say about 35, probably about 30 to 35 minutes. And um, yeah, uh, again, once a month, you see it didn't, it didn't grow a lot, right? Yeah. So no big deal. So now all I'm going to do is pull out my keys, stick it back in, and put my mowers back up, and move on to the next job. So while I'm doing this, guys, again, thank you for supporting the channel. Um, I'm getting ready to hit 100K. Amazing, right? Amazing, amazing. I am so, I'm, I'm shocked, you know, that, uh, I'm reaching uh, that point but yeah I'm blessed man I'm blessed that you know you guys have actually stuck with me and for all the new guys that are coming on thank you you know hit the like and subscribe button that really does help and I try to make uh, more videos like these you know just kind of giving you you know my point of view and how I do certain things now I know I may not put out the cones all the time and and that's only guys because of the location that I'm in I know when I need the cones and I know when I don't need the cones um, I know when I have to lock my vehicle I mean my trailer and I know when I don't have to lock my trailer um, I know the location okay so if you see me do something believe me I know why I'm doing it okay you don't have to put it in the comments man you forgot to put out your cones yeah that's because I'm in a certain location where I don't need cones even though you don't see a lot of traffic uh, coming through this one particular road this is a very uh, busy road I'm coming into the subdivision but you know just the time of the day when uh, you don't see a lot of cars so no big deal all right Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hit the like and subscribe. Be blessed. Have a great one. Pop smoke. Peace.